Welcome to ArcPoint, my name is Marcus, and today I heard you wanted your players to fly. So we're going to do just that. In this video we're going to create a script that allows the player to toggle between flying and not flying at the push of a button. Let's get started. In the top left corner, you're going to find the Create Script button. Uh, you want to press it, and then press Open Script Generator. Now this comes up with a panel with pre-generated snippets of code, similar to like a mini framework. Uh, it comes up with abilities, animation names, and the third option which we want, the event binding pressed released. Go ahead and click that, and then you can actually change the binding using this drop dropdown. Uh, you can find out what they mean in the core API, but for now we're just going to stick with ability, ability primary, which is the left mouse button. So go ahead and press create new script, and we're going to rename the script. I'm going to use the good old classic flying script for the flying project. Go cool kill. Now you can go ahead and close that script generator, and you'll find the new script under project content, my scripts. Uh, you can either double click left mouse to open it, or I'm going to use right mouse and press edit script. Perfect. Okay. So now we have two different sections. We have the on binding pressed and on binding released. Uh, the difference is that on binding press is activated once you push the button down, and on binding released is activated once you release your finger from that button. And we're also going to use which player, which is the variable passed through. It's uh, the player with the script that's activating it. So first off, we're going to press. Uh, we're going to do if bracket which player dot is flying equal true. So if they're flying, then we want them to walk. So tab which player activate walking bracket. Cool, cool. And then we need to do the opposite. Else if bracket which player dot is flying equal false, then we want them to walk, no fly. Which player activate flying and bracket. Make sure is flying is not capitalized at the front, but the activate is. Or else it won't work. And we're gonna make an end and an end just to close things up neatly. So you can press Control S to save, close it, and drag it into your hierarchy. Now in theory, once we preview it, voila! At the click of left mouse, it toggles between flying and not flying. Go kill! Well, I hope this has helped you out, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!